Hi, Debbie here with my first design team project for the month of June. And this one was suggested by Edwina Kent. She wanted a loaded embroidery hoop. So that's what I've been working on. And I used fabric from my stash. I used this uh, white cotton for the background, well, for the back of my hoop. And then this real pretty um, piece of fabric here I also use. Now these two are from my stash. Now, everything else is going to be from ks for You that I used. And let me just bring this down just a little bit. There we go. I used this real pretty trim right here. So I used that. And I used this one too. Yeah, you saw all these in my, when I opened my kit for this month, that one. And I used this trim here. Let me open it up because I did cut it for my project. I ended up cutting cutting it. And you'll see um, when I show you what I made, how I cut that. And I use these flowers. I use some of these flowers here. Some of these flowers. These flowers. And I used this trim. And those flowers go perfectly with this trim that I used. So let me set this aside and I'll show you what I need. So you can see what I made. And this is the hoop. And as you can see, there's the trim. Here's the fabric that I used. Here's that lace that made a pocket. And then the trim. And then, of course, I put that rose trim all the way around. And then I just made some flower clusters with the flowers that I used. And then, of course, I only had one of these, so this was the one that was on my project. But these are the ones that I showed you that I was using. So it looks like that. And see how I did the I went around the whole hoop with that real pretty trim. And then on the back, and this is where I cut that one down. I just cut the flower part off of this trim right here. Let me get it. This one here. I just cut it right down the middle. Right down the middle I cut it and then I had this piece and then I just cut that little edge off too so all I had left was just the little flowers and those I just glued on there because I just wanted to cover up where I had trimmed the fabric in the hoop here's one of those appliques that I made a little pocket for the back so I can stick my little tag in there with my information so this is going to be the back and this is going to be the front and all I have to do now is fill it with little goodies and that you'll be able to see when Edwina gets this because it was her suggestion so I will be sending it to her if she wants it and um, and, sit, and she does do videos so you'll be able to see how I filled the little hoop up and so yeah so this is by well it's not loaded yet but it's a loaded embroidery hoop when, it, when it'll be finished and, um, and it was like I said it was suggested to me by Edwina Kinch. So this is going to go to her if she wants it. So all I need to do now is go inside my little jar and pick out for my next project. So let me do that. So what is my next project going to be? Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Okay, what have we here? We have we have a pin cushion, and this was suggested to me by Carson to Cat's Life Nikki. So I will be, that will be my next project. So thank you, Nikki, for suggesting this, and um, I will see you all in my next video. I will have everybody's information in the description box below to ks for You store, all the members, and um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just, you know, just ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I did do a little tutorial 
um, right after this if you want to watch how I put the little hoop together. Bye for now. Okay, for I am going to start out with a, this is a six inch embroidery hoop. So this is going to be what's going to hold the loaded uh, embroidery hoop together is that. I have some white cotton fabric that I'm actually going to put on first. And then I have this real pretty fabric here that's going to go on top of that because this has like little hole openings and I just want that covered up with the backing here so it's going to have a backing and then I want to make like a pocket so we have this trim here and everything is going to be from KS for you except this fabric here this is I had to you know this is from my stash the fabric but everything else is going to be from KS for you and then I have this remember this trim here it's a real pretty trim. This is what I'm actually going to make the pocket out of. So that's going to actually go on the bottom like this. So it will be on there and this will be like the little pocket. And you notice the little openings here. I have a real thin ribbon. Then I'm actually going to weave in and out of that. So that's going to actually go on top here. Because on top of the ribbon I'm going to put that real pretty rose trim that I got also and that's going to sit on top like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this into the hoop and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay so I have it in the hoop and I have it as tight as I possibly can get it and I've pulled out the fabric and made it as taut as I possibly can too so it's really and they're good and hard. I mean, not good and hard, but really stretched. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to go around and I'm going to trim off all this excess. I'll just trim it right up to the... I'll just go right up to the uh, wood and just go around and just trim all of it off all the way around. So let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I trimmed it all right to the wood. I just went around and just trimmed it all the way around. So now that's all taken care of there. So on this part of the hoop, see this little part, this little border part, I'm going to take some more of this rose trim and I am going to go around and just glue it down and around the hole, all the way around. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a trim right here around the whole, the whole hoop too. And I'm using this real pretty lace trim with the little bling in the center. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be putting that, gluing that all the way around like that around the whole hoop and the glue that I'm actually using is the Beacon 3-in-1. I usually will use Fabri-Tac especially if I'm gluing fabric and fabric but since I'm gluing on wood I'm using this Beacon 301 and another good one that you can use with fabric and wood is actually the Art Glitter Glue will do the same thing. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that trim around and then I'll show you how it turned out. So now we have that trim going all the way around and this is what it's looking like right now and on the back where I trimmed it down I have this lace trim here that looks like that what I'm going to do is I am going to cut it in half and I'm going to take the flower part and I'm actually going to glue it right on top of this piece of fabric that's sticking out like that. So it just so it's going to just hide this. It's not going to sit totally flat on the wood because the fabric's not cut flush to the wood, but it's enough that at least it's covered up with a little flower instead of looking like that. I mean, I could leave it like that because it is just the back, but I want to put a pocket in the back too, so I want to have that this piece 
covered up. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it turns. Okay, so I got that on and um, when I cut this down the middle to get that one strip, I didn't like this piece right here hanging off. So I actually cut that off too, which left me with this real thin, I can use that for maybe a real teeny bow or something. And then I just had just little, little flowers. And that's what I ended up just putting around. So just the little flowers, just to cover up that, you know, piece of fabric that I had to trim. So this is what it's going to look like on the back. And now also on the back, because I wanted to put a little pocket here with maybe a little tag with my name and, and something like that in there, is um, I have these, and you've seen me use these before. I'm going to turn it around this way. So I have one of these, and I'm actually going to make that a pocket in the back, kind of like that. And I don't know if I'll leave it exactly like this, if I'm going to trim it, you know, cut it. And But anyway, this is what I'm going to put in the back. So I just need to play around with this and see where I'm going to cut it, because I don't know if I want to have anything hanging down. So I just need to figure out how I'm going to do that. I originally was going to try to get it into the hoop itself, but that was a little bit of a challenge trying to get a front side and a back side all into the hoop at the same time. <laughs> it was a little bit of a challenge for me. So I don't know if I want to just glue it up the sides and then just trim it or leave it kind of like this. Since it is in the back, it doesn't have to be exactly. And just have have this hang off. I guess it's not going to really matter too much. Oops, sorry. And um, So yeah, let me play with this a little bit and then I'll come back and show you what I came up with. Okay, so I got the little applique on for the pocket. I just have it actually just glued um, not totally all the way around. I have it like glued here and here and a little bit here and here. And um, I'll make a little pocket with my, I mean a little tag with my information and I'll stick it in here. So it's just like a little tag is going to fit in there. This isn't the one. I'm just showing you that I'll just put like a little tag with, with my information in the back. So that's going to be... So I think that's all I'm going to do for the back. So that's going to be it for the back. Now on the front, I am going to want to put some flowers. So let me go get all my little flowers together and we'll all put some kind of arrangement on here. So let me go get my flowers. These are the flowers that I'm going to be using. I have the white ones that look like this. And we have these. And these green ones. So those are the flowers that I've picked to use because those are actually the colors that are in the rose trim. And I've got it, and this is what I've come up with as far as placement of my flowers. Now this one, I am also going to use that one too, but I only had the one of these. But this is how I'm thinking about putting them on. So what I need to do is I just need to take everything off and glue everything on and make sure I put a piece of paper behind here so I don't glue my pocket closed. The only thing I'm not going to show you are the embellishments that I'm going to use to be putting in the little pocket and sending off because this is going to Edwina Kinch since this was her suggestion and she does do videos so if she does a video of this when she receives it then then you'll see what I put in as far as um, loading up her little embroidery hoop. So let me go ahead and um, get these glued on and then I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, I got all the flowers on. So this is going to be my loaded embroidery hoop. And this is going to be the back. And like I said, I'll put a tag in the back and then I am going to put some you know, embellishments, world, you know, things inside the little pocket. And um, that's going to take me a while, probably take me days to to work on that. But this is going to be the hoop. All done. It came out really pretty. And I like how the flowers coordinate with the, with the ribbon. So it turned out really nice. Thank you so much, Edwina, for this suggestion. I hope you like it. And I want to thank all of you for watching. 
and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.